Actually, there's one. The city. I've seen it popping up again and again because Ronnie2k came out with a video just a day or two ago talking about Victor, Victor Wambanyana, V-Dub, that dude, and saying how his build can do this, that, and whatever, blah, 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 and then he um, mentioned the city, something about having 7 foot 5 players running around the city, blah, blah, blah. So then all the 2k community starts carrying on. Where, oh no, the fucking city's back. Oh no. Which, I, I personally, I do not understand the hatred for the city. Like, when they first brought it out, yeah, the first one I think was too big and fucking there wasn't enough shit in it and it took too long to fucking get places. Rah, 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 rah. But this year, they've compressed it down a little and they've given out all those fucking ways of travel and shit and um which everyone complains about again because that's the 2k community for you like, it's a bitch about everything so get down cat fucking kittens attacking people on the screen what was this thing oh fuck so everyone yeah was whinging about the city they've condensed it down or whatever and people were still bitch about the travel methods and shit which you know and I've said it online a million times in comment sections on YouTube and different things and whatever. And plus, on some of my videos, I think, where it, this year it has never, in 2K, it has never ever been quicker or easier to get around the city. Like, fucking, I remember I came up with a suggestion. I, they probably didn't listen to me, but I remember saying ages ago, fucking, the subway stations should be fucking. Like, they just need to add more subway stations and you could fast travel or whatever. And that's what they did. They fucking did it. It was a brilliant fucking idea. And not only that, you you got the fucking motorbike, you got the fucking go-kart, you got the skateboard, you got the fucking BMX bike, you got the fucking, what is it, the magic carpet thing. You got these shoes. These fucking shoes, the super quick running around shoes. Like. And, and not only that, you got the, um, fuck, I don't know how to bring the map up. Which one's the map? There we go. Like, you can pick where to spawn. So if you're a park player, you can spawn in whatever your fucking park is. So as soon as you load up the game, you are in the fucking park ready to play. You don't have to fucking run across the city to get to it. <coughs> At all. If you're a park player, bang! You're in the fucking park every time you turn on the game. If you're a rec player, you're popping up here. Literally, right outside the fucking wreck. You cannot really get any closer to it. Like, it is so fucking, like, you, you pop up, bang, there's the wreck. You can go straight in there. You can spawn right here. So if you're a career player, you can spawn there, and bang, there's the fucking state, like, you're right next to the stadium, like, people, because it's one of those things where morons, they get talking points, and this is one of those things, there was there's one of the talking points about the city is, oh, it's too fucking big, too fucking, takes too long to get around. And people just keep fucking regurgitating that shit over and over and over again, like fucking mindless fucking zombie sheep. It's unbelievable. Like, if you don't like the city, don't fucking run around in it. Spawn where you want to fucking spawn. Bang, bang, like... It's that fucking simple. Like, even if you're a pro-am player, look, you can spawn here. There's pro-am right there. Bang, bang, bang. You're not, like, fucking spawning here and having to fucking run over here to your park or spawning here and having to run over here to the wreck or whatever. You fucking spawn right where you fucking normally play or want to play. You can fucking set it up like that. I think that's mine there. So when I, like, you know, I just like popping up there so I can play wreck. I, I was actually, my main reason for popping up there is so I can do my daily spin, so... When I log on, each day I can just go, bang, daily spin, jump in the wreck if I want, or if I want to play an NBA game, bang, straight over to here, and NBA, like, it is so fucking quick. Like, the only time you're running around the city is when you're doing quests in the career. So, yeah, fair enough, some career players might bitch about it, but even the career players, like, you've fucking got fast travel spots nearly near everywhere you want to go. So that, I don't fucking understand it. It's such a fucking stupid fucking comment that these fucking, like 90% of the 2K community keep making. Oh, too fucking big, too fucking long. Like, it is fucking retarded, honestly.
I don't get it. You fucking bunch of morons. And it's and the majority of people bitching about it are people that play park or the ones that play rec. Like they carry on. It's like all you do is play park and rec. You don't even play fucking career. You don't have to run around the city. You fucking idiot. It, it really annoys the shit out of me. And then you think, okay, they get rid of the city. What the fuck do you want? And these idiots just want to go to a fucking menu, so they want to load the game up. Come up into a menu with fucking text, I guess, and it'll say, My career, park, wreck. You hit that and it fucking just loads you straight onto the fucking court, ready to play a game against randoms. Hey, how are you going to squat up? Okay, you're going to fucking get in a party, somehow make a fucking squat up in your menu system. I don't know how that works, but obviously in their menu system there'll be a spot there for going and fucking getting your friends to squat up. And then what, one of you is fucking whoever started the. It's going to select, like, the rec centre or something, and then you all just load up into the rec centre. So then, you got fucking all the season rewards. Why the fuck would they hand out, like, clothes and mascots and fucking hats and all that sort of shit? Like, there's no point fucking having any of that shit. If you're not fucking running around the city fucking showing it off, what's the fucking point? Yeah, you can wear it in the park, but it's the same fucking thing. People only really mostly see it in the park when you're running around or whatever. These idiots just want to fucking load up into a park. You're not even going to be in a park. It'll be like the fucking theatre where you fucking just go, hit this button, next thing you know, here's your random teammates, you're playing against other randoms, or if you're in a squad, whatever. You just load up onto a fucking random court. To me, yeah, that might suit a few players, but no, I don't fucking want that. I like the city. The only problem with the city is they... They need to expand on it. It's a bit too vanilla. Like the fucking um, first things first would be the stadium. They've got the fucking licensing for fucking everything. They've got all the courts. They've got all the uniforms. They've got the fucking... A couple of years ago, they went to every single fucking stadium and they recorded the sounds. Then they fucking signed up all the fucking announcers and shit. So they've got the announcers. They've got the sounds. They've got fucking everything. But fucking every other sports game you play... Like FIFA and all that sort of shit. You're playing in the actual fucking stadiums. It looks like the stadium. It's not just some generic fucking stadium on the outside. And like, you know, the real stadium on the inside. It's actual real stadium on the outside as well. Like fucking, you can see it when they pan in and out and whatever. There's, it's actual proper fucking stadiums and shit. So here I'm playing for Brooklyn. When I play for Brooklyn, my stadium there should be the Barclays Centre. I should have the Barclays Centre sitting there. And if I'm playing an away game... Pop up the fucking other, um, one of the other stadiums. Me, that might look a little bit silly in a way, because, like, this is my city, so this is supposed to be fucking Brooklyn in a way. Like, you know, doesn't really look like it. Not that I've been to Brooklyn, but <coughs> <coughs> obviously they're not going to get fucking Brooklyn exactly right. Like, you can't get every, like, 30 fucking different cities right. Well, two of them, New York and LA, you've got two fucking teams or whatever, so you're not going to get 28 fucking cities right or whatever, and there'd be too much mucking around to get so many different cities. But, uh, I would put up with that craziness of the fucking stadium changing, just for the fact that it'd actually be awesome, like, fucking, I'd be playing, like, that game I just played, it was a home game, that should have been Barclays Centre sitting there that I ran into. My next game, I think, is an away game? Yeah, playing Chicago, then New Orleans, so, like... It should be, was it the fucking United Centre or whatever it is? It should be fucking sitting there right now waiting for me to go play a game in it. That should be the United Centre. Like, why haven't they fucking done that? I don't understand it. It's been a few years now with the fucking city and all that shit. Like, and we've had, like, um... Stadiums, I guess, in a way, even in the neighbourhood. There's a little, like, you see the facade, whatever, of a stadium... <laughs> But this, even this, you've only got the front part, sort of, what, about a third of it sitting there that we're looking at. You just had the front of the stadium there like that, they're like, fuck, shouldn't be fucking hard. It would add to the atmosphere of the city. And not only that, you got, um, oh wait, which button was it? Yeah, this fucking shit. It's a fucking volcano. That's ridiculous. This is a jungle. It's ridiculous. It's a desert, and this is a castle, and this is all supposed to be one city. If 
fucking volcano, a jungle, a desert. Okay, maybe a castle you can get away from the castle in the city, but playing basketball in this fucking mind-numbingly stupid. They should go back to having realistic parks, man. And it wouldn't be that hard to have a city where, like, fucking, say, like, um, like, you know, the old, old town where it was like, you had the fucking, the bridge there and you had fucking, it was like a, on a river, basically. You imagine fucking playing, like, if in New York City, down by the Hudson River sort of thing. It sort of had that look and feel about it. It wouldn't be that hard to have that sitting there and have, like, Sunset Beach here in the part of the same city, but it's near the beach. One's near the beach, one's near the fucking river. Then, like, the River City one, which was, like, more of a fucking suburban type thing. You could have that in there. They they could all be part of the same fucking city. And the fourth one, you could have that as, like, because uh, this one here, oh, River City, say, in, I think in 2K15, was those, um, I don't know, there's, oh, hard to explain. I like, like in a city fucking basketball court sort of thing so it looked a little bit sleazy there's graffiti around all that sort of stuff like you could still have that there but then this one here maybe could be the clean cut one where i think it was uh north side nights or whatever a few years last year or the year before and it looked like green around like a suburban type area like fucking you know, like there's grassland and hills sort of in the background and just normal looking houses and shit like it would be so easy to incorporate those four different fucking styles of park into the one city. Yet here we are with a fucking volcano, a fucking jungle, a fucking desert, and a fucking castle. Like, th th that's why I don't play any park. I haven't played fucking park in these cities because they're fucking ridiculous. The fucking parks look fucking stupid. If they went back to realistic looking parks, I'd play in the park all the fucking time. I'd, I loved it. I used to love it in 2K15 because it looked fucking real. 2K16, they started going off the fucking rails. And morons, when they talk about those old parks and shit, fucking badge plug the other day, I watched a video of his and he fucking brought up fucking Old Town having the carnival and shit. It's like, no, fuck the fucking carnival. That's when it started going downhill. 2K15 was fucking brilliant playing in Old Town. It was a fucking good looking court, fucking, it was great. 2K16, as soon as they started that up and they had the fucking carnival in the background, it was the most annoying motherfucking thing ever. Because you hear the fucking kids scream, like, you go out to play a game, you just hear the fucking kids screaming on the fucking roller coaster all through your fucking game, and then what sounded like, there's some machine going, but it sounded like a fucking lawnmower in the background, like, Meh. and it's like, fuck off with that shit. I don't want to fucking be playing outside a fucking carnival. And then the fucking Sunset Beach one got dumb, like, I think 2K16, they added lights and shit, so... It wasn't as bad, but I think it was like 17 maybe, where they put the big fucking stupid fish tank in and the fucking that water slide thing that was going like, fuck off with that, man. Fuck right off. And the same with Rivet. Rivet was great in 2K15. I think it was might have been 16 when they fucking stuck him in a fucking steel factory. What? A fucking factory with fucking molten metal fucking going around and shit like, oh that. That is when the park started going off the rails, and I fucking really didn't like it. Honestly, I fucking didn't like those fucking parks at all. They got fucking stupid. It might have been... Was it 18, I think, was the one that sucked. But that style of park wasn't too bad. If they had one of those style of parks in there, it would be okay. But it's the stupid level thing they had and all that, and it was fucking dumb. I think it was 18. And then I think was it 19 and 20 we had the fucking neighbourhood or whatever which yeah that wasn't too bad actually I didn't mind that but you only had the one fucking park that was disappointing like you couldn't fucking rep yourself like rep anything or whatever like I still like the idea of people having different parks or whatever and I still like the 2K15 idea where fucking you had to grind your way up to pro or whatever before you could even travel. Maybe they should go to a bit like 2K15. Have three different cities or four different cities. Depending on which fucking affiliation you choose, your city might look completely fucking different to the others, say, like, you know, or something. I don't know. It could have a little bit, like, add some variety to it, like, fucking, so not everyone's in the exact same city gun or whatever. I don't know. Because I still like the idea of either the affiliation you choose, fucking... 
making your city look a bit different. And then again, maybe they should give it three affiliations instead of four. Four just seems a bit much. But also, like, to me, it should fucking um, tie in with my career, where fucking my career, when you start, we should go back to the old days where you start in high school, go to college, then get an the MBA or whatever. And the high school you choose, they could have four different high schools. Like, say this could be Western Wildcats fucking high school. Northside Knights, East of the East. They could all be high schools. And they could be, those parks could be like the high school fucking playground park type thing. That's what I think. So you'd have like a little building here for the high school or whatever. <coughs> and this would be the fucking parks laid out. And you'd be representing your high school when you go and play in the park. Like it'd still be like, not so much high school, but like the high school would be like the fucking South City fucking high school vipers or whatever. So you're still a viper. You'd still be a beast or whatever, but fucking it'd be like the high school that you were representing in fucking, in your my career. And not only that, we've got college in the game, like fucking, whatever, like you should get the fucking G, like, I like that in, I think it was 2K15 or 16 when you fucking could come out in the park and you could play in your high school jersey. That was an awesome idea. I remember, was it the Dragons or something? I had the Dragons fucking, the Green Dragons jersey, I used to wear that around, it was fucking cool. What's wrong with that? That's brilliant. So the same thing could happen with college, like fucking, cause the stupid idea of college this year where you're fucking... I don't know, you could be halfway through your fucking NBA career and all of a sudden you go to the college flashbacks. Although, because I grind and shit, usually I have my college flashbacks like fucking 10 to 20 games into the season. Which, I don't know, it's just stupid. It seems so fucking backwards to sort of jump into the game, playing in the NBA career, you're good enough to play in the NBA and all of a sudden you go into the fucking high school, I mean college, and you're even better because you've been fucking grinding and adding to your tributes. So somehow you're better overall like you're higher overall playing in college than what you are when you're starting in nba it doesn't fucking add up whoever come up with that idea needs fucking shooting it's fucking dumb sack them get rid of them they're fucking idiots don't need morons giving you fucking stupid ideas fucking morons gave them a stupid idea and, oh no fucking shit great let's run with it and I still think it was all because of fucking the Jordan's Last Stand fucking documentary. Oh, we have some fucking weird thing in there, like a documentary style. Like, fuck off, man. Fucking stupid. But, again, my main point with all this was fucking... I still don't understand the hatred to this. Like, fucking... I would much rather have this where it looks like you're fucking... Yeah, you know, it's not perfect, obviously. But you still have a little bit of a feel of you're fucking running around in the city. You can go to the park. You can go play your NBA game and all that sort of stuff. Like, you're, you're a fucking person, basically. Whereas, I don't want to just fucking load up and go into a menu system and go into an NBA game straight from the menu system or fucking straight into the wreck from the menu. Like, fuck off, man. Like, th that's a shakedown fucking idea. He's been like that for years because he doesn't even want parks or anything. He's been fucking campaigning against Got Next for years. He doesn't want Got Next. He just wants to fucking turn his game on and fucking have it load him into a fucking 3v3 game or a rec game. Like, no. Fuck that shit, man. I love the fucking Got Next idea. It's like, it feels almost real. Like, it's obviously not realistic, but there's a realistic type factor there where you fucking, you go down the park, you have a look, it's like, oh, this looks cool. Let's go and have a game. You line up on the court, like, because you've got next. Like, you fucking, hey, I've got next, motherfucker. That's the whole idea. But I don't know. I don't get the hatred of the city. Other than the fact that 2K just copy and paste it a bit. And fucking just... Like this year, it's basically the same sort of city in a way. It's just a little bit smaller. But they've just copied this bit, put it there, move this around, chop this up, cut that and move it here. They've just moved shit around. And that's it. Like they... They're not fucking... Like we don't need them to reinvent the wheel every year. But fucking... Come on, it's a little bit of originality. Some of these, like, these fucking private parks. I'd probably rather play on those than the fucking... The park parks, because... They actually, some of them look better. The Dreamer... Where is it? I think this is it. The Dreamer Park. That looks cool. And the fucking Devon Book one over here. That doesn't look too bad. And this fucker up here, it's got the, um... Rivet City type feeling about it in a way but you, get, you don't play against anyone there other than AI 
not like Iverson. Actual fucking just bots. And this, the cavey court. Yeah, fucking everyone likes cavey and we need to, like, should just give him a fucking statue or something. The whole year, I've never, not that I go and check it all the time, but the few times I have gone over, like, no one ever goes there. No one. I don't think the fucking Kobe court's ever been fucking used. Like, maybe on the American servers, but here in Australia, on the uh, Xbox server where, you know, it's Australia, so there's a lot less people. It's Xbox, so there's even more less people. Like, whatever. It doesn't make sense, more or less people, but there's less, less people. Like, there's fucking not many people when I jump on. Like, now it's fucking... I get, I finish work at midnight and I fucking jump on it. And quite often, there's no point even trying to get a game online because there's just not enough fucking people. You've you got one or two fucking squads running around and shit, and that's about it. Like, it's just a bunch of sweats. So, fucking... You, you don't want to play against the fucking sweats with randoms. You're just going to get killed every time. So, I can't play at night when I get home from work. Well, early in the morning basically I have to wait till I've got days off to play fucking in peak hour when there's fucking heaps of people on there and you can get some fucking decent games with fucking different people and you're not just playing the same fucking sweaties over and over again but yeah that KB court it's fucking it's a waste of space like fucking they don't need it what was this what was this shit the fucking What is that? There's something that annoys me about it, but I can't remember what. Oh, BL. Uh, fucking Black Lives Matter. Stick that up your fucking ass. Stick it up your fucking ass, man. I assume what fucking because fucking 2K does this shit like they did the fucking doco thing because the fucking last fucking dance or whatever and fucking KB died so they've got to give him a court fucking the BLM fucking went riding across the fucking America there a fucking year or two ago fucking taking over fucking cities and trashing fucking cities and whatnot so yeah we'll give them a court as well I gather this year 2K24 I would almost bet my fucking balls they'll stick a fucking pride court out there be a little rainbow court, a little pride court. Again, stick that up your ass. I know you're gonna fucking do it. I fucking bet my balls you'll fucking do it. Two K's that sort of fucking company. But anyway, I don't get it. To me, if I had the option of having a city where you're running around doing all this sort of shit. Or, just loading up in a fucking menu system like it's fucking 1990 again. Or 1995 or something. No, I'd rather the city. I'd much rather the city. Because again, who, like, why would I buy these clothes? Why would I fucking bother grinding through the seasons to fucking get all that shit? Like, why would you do that if fucking the game is just a menu system? Text. Select this, select that, and away you go. It's fucking retarded. It's never going to happen. The city's here. It's here to stay. And like I said, they're, they're going to expand on it at some point. We'll probably have fucking two or three cities at some point. I don't know. It's not going to disappear. So, people should stop fucking whinging about it, really. <laughs>